Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my new type of review, my Afterthoughts review, where, well, after a couple days, I go back and watch the episode in glorious high definition, and then, in a way, decide if, um, my opinion of the episode's changed in those few days or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And in this case, I think I'm gonna do this quick and dirty because it's like there's just not enough hours in the day, and oh man, I I must admit I don't want to get images or edit videos, so I'm gonna do this quick and dirty with no images, and we'll see how that works out or or not. But anyway, oh dear, this episode really annoys me because I I I can't figure this episode because after watching like five separate reviews from. Dr. Wolf, Digibrony, Brony Curious, um, Fold Operating Base Equestria, and the initial reaction from uh, AMY Pody and Co. Uh, I, I, I can't make up my mind how I feel about this episode anymore. It's like, they're all right to a point. I mean, I think the best was definitely Brony Curious's because... His conclusion ultimately is that it's a good episode, but he can totally get why people don't like Applejack's behavior and why they could think, oh, she's not a character and stuff like that. And it's just, oh, it's terrible. But he does point out that in a way, she's not in character. She is in character in a way because in all the other episodes where Applejack goes nuts, it's all because of her family. It's because of she cares about her family, like in... Um, yeah, I, must have, I can't remember the episode titles right now. My brain is no longer functioning and it's kind of late and stuff, so, oh dear. But anyway, yeah, so in all the episodes where we see her really interacting with her family in a big day, like uh, Apple Family Reunion, she goes nuts, she goes nuts and stuff like that. So, just like uh, for Twilight, anxiety is her big thing. I think going nuts when there's a big family crisis or something in a way is sort of hers or something like that. I do have to say that... For the most part, we see Applejack being very mature and, you know, level-headed and all this stuff. So to all of a sudden see her completely go off the deep end, like, this does seem very out of character. But, you know, it is obviously possible for anybody to, to do that. To just simply go off the deep end and stuff like that. And this is definitely a very relatable conflict for a lot of children and parents and stuff. But the interesting thing about this episode is that this lesson is not aimed at the children. It's aimed at the parents, which, considering that this still is show primarily for children, is a very odd thing when you think about it. It's like the children honestly don't get anything out of this episode, other than I totally feel and understand what Apple Bloom's going for. I understand it. I get it. And But there's no lesson here, and I have to agree with Forward Operating Base Equestria that... The lesson is almost destructive in this way. It's like, oh, all Apple Bloom has to do is go on a big, dangerous mission by herself that she deserves to be punished for. But in the end, this is still Applejack's fault. If Applejack had stayed out of it, if she had just done her, her, her duty and gone and delivered the pies and just trusted Applejack, uh, Apple Bloom... This, there'd be no conflict here. There'd be no conflict here. Everything would have been fine and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, again, that lesson is in a way very destructive. I mean, it, it says the goat, it tells children, go disobey your parents and go do crazy dangerous things because that's the only way that they're going to trust you and stuff. That's That's not the way to teach this lesson. In fact, Again, what is the lesson to the child? There is no lesson to this child, other than you can only hope that your your adults will, and your parents or your adult figures or whatever will will hopefully respect and trust you and stuff like that. Urgh. That's not cool. That's not cool. But I must admit, after watching this episode a second time, it's like all the, the Applejack stuff in the beginning where she's going completely up the deep end is sort of getting a little more funny stuff. I mean still hard for me because I just don't I just don't buy this I just don't it's like really Applejack really uh, you cannot be serious you just cannot be serious Applejack because <laughs> again in a, in a usual way obviously this is not the first time that carriers have gone completely nuts and completely off the deep end like uh, Lesson Zero was obviously Twilight's episode. There's obviously been a lot of others for every character. And again, I in a way didn't like Lesson Zero for exactly that. Because Twilight's completely going off the deep end. She's 
<laughs> I think the thing that sums it up best for me in that episode is get away from me, you crazy pony. <laughs> but some people actually enjoy that and they like it, and that's fine. That's fine and stuff like that. And some people enjoyed the fact that Applejack is completely going off the deep end and she's losing it and everything. And I like that even Apple Bloom is realizing that you know she's just overreacting. She'll probably snap out of it and stuff like that. And Oh dear, oh dear. Unfortunately, she does not. She does not. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. Yes, yeah, it's like I think Apple Bloom was much more of an adult than Applejack is, and in fact, it's almost like they've traded places. That you know, Apple Bloom's the adult, and Applejack's the tw- the child, and she's the one who needs to learn the lesson. Which, again, considering where they started, it seems really odd. <laughs> it just seems odd, you know. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, how would I have fixed this episode? As how I've been, as what I've been thinking about. I think how I would have fixed this, I would have done this a lot more like an episode of Fraggle Rock called Wonder Mountain, where one character named Red is so worried about another friend called Moki, um, who's going on this big dangerous trip up Wonder Mountain, and because Moki is this kind of dreamy kind of flower child kind of character she's afraid red's afraid that she's gonna like you know <laughs> be reading her guidebook and just like wander into wander wander off a cliff or straight into a monster's den and stuff like that and then she decides to secretly follow moki up wonder mountain even though she's promised moki that she trusts her and stuff like that and and while she's doing this she keeps getting herself into trouble and, and stuff like that well moki's just walking along just reading her book red's like falling off cliffs and getting trapped in bushes and getting attacked by monsters and stuff <laughs> and i would have done that here i would have had applejack be like suddenly following apple bloom around the farm and maybe apple bloom would do something and applejack would try to intervene or something but then she'd mess it up even more and stuff like that i don't know that would have been fun that would have worked and then apple bloom would all of a sudden discover and say what you've been following me all this time i thought you trusted me that would have been i think a much better episode i think that would have been in a way a better episode in a way but i don't know i mean in the end this episode isn't bad it's definitely i think it just simply goes too far i mean it goes too far and stuff like that and i must admit i would not want to give up the scene with the fire swamp because yes i it does remind me of the princess bride uh, as i've said other to other people is that i don't really know that movie all too well i've seen it like once so it's not my favorite movie so i don't really remember it but yeah absolutely that reminds me of the fire swamp i wouldn't be surprised if it, that's a reference to that <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. But yeah, I, that was actually a pretty cool scene. We got to see Applejack, you know, kick some serious monster butt. Yo! <laughs> yes, good for Applejack, good for Applejack. <laughs> Again, the monster, the monster didn't make any sense to me. It's like, why is the monster talking with its food? <laughs> why doesn't the monster just eat Apple Bloom? Because that's clearly what the monster's intent is and stuff like that and i have to say that that's such a weird looking monster it's like no i'm not familiar with greek mythology and all that stuff and it's just weird looking it makes no sense and stuff like that but still that fight was cool and i would not have given up that that scene i would not have given that up that was awesome that was cool yo (laughs) again i like to see female characters fight and win and fight with such intelligence and strategy and thinking and stuff like that that was cool as well that it wasn't just, oh, Applejack kicked her, kicked the monster right in the nose and you know, drop kicked it into the next county. Nope, she did all these clever things and found, knew how to defeat it uh, one step at a time. And that was cool in itself. And also, like, again, Apple Bloom was actually capable of somewhat taking care of herself, even in this situation. I mean, yes, she ultimately fails in this situation, but that's primarily because she doesn't know how to defeat the monster and stuff like that. If she had known all this, maybe she could have defeated the monster, too, but uh, whatever, we'll see. But again, she did pretty good. She did pretty good for a kid and stuff like that. And again, she proved that she can handle herself and that she is very much an adult. She's much more of an adult than Applejack is, so, oh dear. But oh again it's like overall i still think this is a good episode sort of in a way but it's not it's like a lot of season four it's good and it's not good at the same time i mean they succeeded in what they were setting out to do which was unfortunately to make applejack look like a jerk (laughs) yes they definitely succeeded at that oh dear 
But again, they often do this to simply hammer a point home and stuff like that. That's just, sometimes that's the only time you can get someone's attention is to really hammer a point home and just like really show how stupid this behavior is. Because yeah, unfortunately, a lot of parents are like Applejack. I hope not nearly as bad as Applejack. But yeah, a lot of parents these days just don't want to let their kids go. They don't want them to to grow up and they want them to be babies forever and stuff like that which is obviously what Applejack was trying to do <laughs> but fortunately she w did eventually learn that Apple Bloom's not a baby anymore she can take care of herself and stuff like that and but it definitely definitely doesn't work as good as it could have but overall the episode still is is kind of good in what it was trying to do but uh, it's almost like I almost want to say that these episodes are starting to become what I've dubbed quote unquote binary <laughs> yes, computer programming slash computer code reference. <laughs> that you either love this episode or you don't, oh dear. Because yeah, if you find the stuff of Applejack at the beginning funny, then you'll like it. But if you don't, it doesn't get any better from there, pretty much. <laughs> Oh, uh, but anyway, yeah, so I'm still, I guess I'm in the middle on this episode. It's good, but it's still a hard episode. It's still difficult to watch. It, it's just, mm, I think the lesson could have done been done a little better. Like, I think there definitely needed to be a lesson for Apple Bloom here and not just simply Apple Jack because, again, it's just odd. You know, they start out with this obviously being about Apple Bloom and now all of a sudden the lesson shifts from her to Apple Jack. That just seems really weird to me. Okay, I think I'm rambling on in this. So I think my final verdict on this episode is that I think it's okay. It's definitely not great. It's not good. It's not bad. It's somewhere in between. And maybe after I watched a couple more times, after I overcome the shock of really Applejack and just to start to enjoy more that maybe it'll get better and there's definitely a couple of episodes like that in this season and in other seasons as well and stuff like that so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this uh, sort of improvised review uh, so anyway this is blue star stay strong and pony on blue star out